Another option for hosting applications within Azure is to actually develop the application yourself. This way, you need only concern yourself with the development of the application, and you don't have to worry about the infrastructure required or the deployment of this application. That's what we want Azure for, to provide that implementation, that infrastructure that is necessary. So it's the same approach as adding in a gallery application, but we just choose the other option. So we're going to go to our Add button here. And instead of the gallery, we want to add an application that my organization is developing. So we just need to uh, give it a name, choose the type here. And in this demonstration, we'll go with a web application or a web API, but there is a native client application available. So let's just call this Aaron's New World App. And we'll leave it at the web application and click on Next. And in essence, the only thing that's required from the perspective of Azure is this sign-on URL and an application ID URI. Now, in both cases, you can just mouse over the help link here, the URL where users can sign in and use your app. It can be changed later if it's still in development and you think the URL might change. That's perfectly fine. And then the, uh, the URI you see here, provide a unique URI that Windows Azure Active Directory can use for this app, again, which can also be changed. But the idea behind this is just for things like a single sign-on, for example, the application identifies itself to Azure because, of course, you might have more than one. And in fact, you know what? Let's, uh, let's just click on the Learn More link here. Uh, that will actually pull up a page giving you a bit of a better idea of those options there. There you see is the URL. So again, this is simply a web-based address that users can access so that they can find the application itself. And there's an example right there. And then the URI, because it is a logical identifier, does not need to resolve to an internet address. It is presented by your app when sending a single sign-on request to the Azure Active Directory. Azure identifies your app and sends the sign-on response uh, in the form of a token. So again, it's just simply a matter of identification with respect of the users locating the application and then the application identifying itself to Azure for authentication purposes. So we can just go with something like, we'll just make something up here because I don't actually have one, but it'll still work. So HTTP colon slash slash. Aaron's New World App dot net, for example. And as long as this resolves, then that's uh, perfectly fine. So we could just go with that for the sign on URL. And then maybe for the URI, what we might want to do is just copy this. But just to give you an, an idea here, let's just put in a number one because we might have app two as well. So that would have to be unique. The URL for our second application might actually be the same, but the application to identify itself uniquely would have to have something else in there so that they're not the same with respect to the URI. But again, that's fine for our demonstration purposes here. We'll just click on OK, and that's going to go ahead and add in that app. Now, it's up to me at this point to go and develop that application but with respect to adding it into Azure, basically that's all we have to do. Now, obviously there's configuration you see here available for that application, but in terms of adding it in, a fairly simple process, as long as it does exist somewhere and Azure can locate that application, then you can add that in, go ahead and continue on with your development, and of course configure it with respect to how your users are going to access it through Azure, but a fairly simple process to get started with adding in both gallery applications and custom in-house developed ones.